China has reportedly conducted a new test of an intercontinental ballistic missile that appears to demonstrate a depressed trajectory and a shallow re-entry angle during its final phase. Analysts suggest that this may indicate the presence of a hypersonic boost glide capability. This report comes shortly after earlier observations in September 2025, when it was claimed that China had tested a hypersonic glide vehicle mounted on either an intercontinental ballistic missile or an intermediate-range ballistic missile. If confirmed, this would mark a significant development in China's long-range strike capabilities and could have major implications for missile defense systems and strategic stability. The visuals being discussed show what appears to be a missile descending at a shallow angle rather than the steep trajectory expected from a traditional ballistic missile. A standard intercontinental ballistic missile typically follows a high arc, with the warhead re-entering the atmosphere at a sharp angle. In contrast, a hypersonic glide vehicle separates from its booster stage and re-enters the upper atmosphere at high speed while maintaining the ability to maneuver. By gliding over long distances and descending at shallower angles, such a vehicle becomes more difficult to track and intercept. The shallow dive seen in the footage has therefore raised speculation that China is experimenting with this kind of technology. However, it is important to recognize the uncertainties involved. The footage may not capture the full trajectory of the missile, and the shallow dive could be the result of terminal maneuvering or even perspective distortion in the visuals. In some cases, re-entry vehicles can perform limited corrections or maneuvers during the final phase without necessarily being part of a full hypersonic glide system. Without telemetry, radar data, or confirmation from independent sources, analysts must treat these claims with caution. Nevertheless, the timing of this observation, coming after reports of earlier hypersonic testing, adds weight to the possibility that China is advancing its hypersonic programs. China has already demonstrated interest in hypersonic systems. The DF-17 missile, unveiled in recent years, carries the DF-ZF hypersonic glide vehicle, which has been tested multiple times since 2014. That system is a medium-range weapon, but the expansion of glide vehicle technology to intercontinental ranges would represent a major leap in capability. Developing a glide vehicle that can survive the extreme conditions of intercontinental reentry requires advanced heat-resistant materials, precise guidance systems, and aerodynamic control mechanisms. While such technology is challenging, it is not unprecedented. Russia already deploys the avant-garde hypersonic glide vehicle on its intercontinental ballistic missiles, and the United States is developing its own long-range glide body. If China has achieved a similar breakthrough, it would place it firmly among the leading states in this area of strategic technology. The strategic implications of a hypersonic intercontinental ballistic missile are profound. Existing missile defense systems are largely designed to intercept traditional ballistic trajectories, which are predictable once the missile re-enters the atmosphere. A glide vehicle, however, can maneuver laterally and approach its target from unexpected angles. Its low flight path compresses detection and response times, reducing the effectiveness of current missile defense architectures. For countries that rely heavily on missile defense as part of their deterrence posture, such as the United States and its allies in Asia, this poses a serious challenge. Beyond missile defense, the deployment of a hypersonic glide vehicle on an intercontinental ballistic missile would alter the strategic balance by enhancing China's ability to threaten targets at intercontinental ranges with weapons that are both difficult to detect and harder to stop. This increases the credibility of a Chinese first or second strike capability. It also creates dangerous ambiguity, because adversaries cannot immediately determine whether such a missile carries a conventional or nuclear payload. In a crisis, the uncertainty could raise the risk of escalation and miscalculation, as states may assume the worst-case scenario. Regionally, such advancements would fuel concerns among China's neighbors, including Japan, South Korea, and India. These states are already investing in missile defense and long-range strike capabilities. A proven Chinese hypersonic intercontinental ballistic missile would likely accelerate their military modernization and strengthen security ties with the United States. For countries outside the immediate region, 
including Pakistan, the development could also shape strategic calculations. Pakistan might see opportunities for greater cooperation with China in advanced missile technology, or it could view these advancements as part of a broader shift in the balance of power in Asia. At the global level, a confirmed test of a hypersonic glide vehicle mounted on an intercontinental ballistic missile would intensify the arms race among the major powers. Russia and China are already moving forward with operational systems, while the United States is pushing hard to field its own. This competition will not be limited to offensive weapons. It will also drive investments in countermeasures, such as space-based sensors, directed energy weapons, and advanced interceptors. The pace of this technological race raises questions about arms control, as existing treaties do not adequately cover hypersonic systems. Efforts to develop new frameworks for transparency, risk reduction, and stability may become increasingly urgent, though achieving consensus will be difficult given the strategic stakes. It must be emphasized that the visuals alone do not provide definitive proof of China's capability. They are, however, an important signal. Whether through carefully leaked footage, open demonstrations, or parades showcasing new missile systems, China has shown a willingness to use displays of advanced weapons as strategic messaging tools. Even if this test does not represent a fully operational system, it signals intent and progress. For adversaries, that is enough to trigger concern and accelerate countermeasures. In conclusion, the latest claims about China testing an intercontinental ballistic missile with a hypersonic glide vehicle capability reflect a growing trend in global strategic competition. Hypersonic technology promises to outpace existing defenses, shorten decision times, and complicate deterrence dynamics. While there are still uncertainties, the trajectory of China's missile development is clear. From medium-range glide vehicles like the DF-17, to the possibility of intercontinental applications, Beijing is determined to close the technological gap and establish itself as a leader in next-generation strategic weapons. This development will shape regional security, influence global power dynamics, and force states to reconsider how they approach deterrence in the hypersonic era.